In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to create a complex particle that you can use to make a snow effect in the clip. I'd like first of all to show you an example of a partly finished product, and then we'll go ahead and show you how to do that. In the footage you just saw, we took this clip and then we added a complex particle. Let me show you how to do that. First of all, all I need to do is move to the particle room where I can press the F6 key on my keyboard. And we're going to create a particle, so I'll click on the Create New Particle Object. It will go out and ask where do I want the, where the particle to come from. I have a very small white dot of an object called snow, and that will be the basis for my particle. Again, when we start creating anything in the particle room, we have some defaults. One is that it's a point, and it's a certain location and a certain size. What I'm going to do is move, uh, move it up. I can actually move off the screen. I'll widen it and I'm going to change the angle of it. Now the size of the particle looks a little bit like cotton balls. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to change the size drastically. Now it starts out at 5.00. I'm going to highlight that and I will type in 0 0.4. It doesn't have to be uh, an entire one to the left of the decimal point. And so these particles are going to be pretty small. The other thing I want to do is I want to turn the fade in and fade out off. And then going up to the top of the parameters, I'm going to uh, make the maximum count quite a bit less. We'll drag it down into the 20s here. And then I can click on OK. It wants a name for the particle. I'll just call it Snow and press Enter. And now I see the particle. I'm going to drag and drop it onto track number two. And then if I play my entire movie, I can see I have small flakes of snow coming across from the upper left. And these are somewhat realistic because they're so small, not much to accumulate. But that's not much for snow. What if I want to make it somewhat more uh, dramatic? Well, I can click on my double click on my particle again. And we're going to go to another track. We're going to click up here to particle and we'll add another of the same item, the snow. Now I have it on a separate track as well. We're going to change some parameters that we've done before, the fade in and the fade out. And then I'll change the size. Now in this case, what I want to do is I'll change the, I'll make the size bigger. I'll go 0 0.8. It'll be twice as large. And I'm going to, in this case, um, make maybe up to 250 of them. And I'm going to change the emit method to a line. And we'll have them come down from the upper right a little bit at an angle. And I'll click on OK. So now I have two uh, tracks uh, two uh, in my completed particle here. So we'll click on the movie and we'll play it again. And now we have some coming from the left and some coming down at a different speed in a greater quantity from the right. But there's more you can do than that. Let me give you another example. We're going to double click on our complex particle again and create a yet another layer. And we'll use the same particle object, my snow. And in this case, let's say we want to bring it a down a little bit from the side on the right. We're going to change the size here, 0.9. And let's go ahead and let's uh, make the count a little less than 100, but we're going to change the emit rate. 
we're going to go ahead and take the fade in and fade out off but now let's try something else those are the settings to start with let's do a little bit of um, key framing so I'm going to click on the little timer on maximum count and now on my particle 2 it starts out at a count of 68 but if I'm going to move over here a couple of seconds now let's bump the count up okay that about tripled the count so it will actually change over time let's also uh, go ahead and not only change that let's change the emit rate I'll click a keyframe on that on the same particle and if I move to the beginning and look at my emit rate here it's at 1637 we'll move our playhead over and we'll slow it down I'll, I'll type in the number here let's just go 90 we'll go ahead and click on OK and since snow is normally not super consistent the more particles you add the more realistic it gets we have different particles at different moments it gets thicker it gets a little bit faster or slower and that's a way in which you can change the look and feel of the snow let's try one more just for fun we'll add another particle of snow in this case we'll make it uh, quite massive we'll change the maximum count up to 500 on the size uh, we'll go with a 0.9 we'll change the size variation up to uh, 450 percent and then we'll keyframe this one too let's uh, let's keyframe the um, the emit rate on this particular particle I have to drag down to see it it's particle number three we'll start uh, at 100 and then we'll move pretty fast and we'll speed it way up well also let's also take the size we'll keyframe that if I drag down I can see I have my size here it starts at 0.9 and by the time I'm over here let's let's go to 1.5 and click on OK I've taken our clip and added a couple more tracks where we've added even more particles of snow and I'd like to show you the result You can make it from as quiet and simple as possible to as aggressive as you need when you change the speed, the angle, the size, and all the other parameters. And it's nice that you can change it during the course of the clip using keyframes.